All right, all right, all right. Mm. Hi, my name is Amadeo. These are my top 10 uh, tips on being a guerrilla filmmaker in San Antonio. Number 10, permits. If you actually want to like film on a park or, or like, a, like, a, a, like an office, you need to get a permit from the San Antonio Film Commission. 10 days ahead of time is what they, own, is what they ask. So make sure your stuff is planned. Number nine, planning. Dude, if, if you're on set, and you don't, and you cut yourself, and you don't have a bandage. First aid kit, dude. Make sure you have, like, like every single little thing you could think possible. I always have a marker on me, you know? To, to fucking draw dicks on people's heads whenever they're sleeping on film sets. Number eight. Make sure that you always bring water to set. Like, I don't understand... I've been to three different, like, little film sets in San Antonio, and none of them had water. None of them had water. Like, that's, like, priority number one, and I swear, if I go to another fucking film set and they don't have water, I'm gonna fucking draw a dick on the goddamn lens. Number seven! Don't work with kids. Just don't work with kids. I mean, if you have a kid that's, like, like... There's always that one kid that's like eight years old and they talk like they uh, straight out of a fucking, like they talk like straight out of the dictionary, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? The super smart kids, those are good kids to work with. Don't work with the dumb kids, okay? There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Number six, for the love of God, for the love of God, please do not, do not make an actor or a crew member or anybody on, on, on set uncomfortable. If you do that in any shape or form, keep it in your fucking pants. You're on a professional film set. Don't fucking do that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Keep it professional. Jesus fuck. Every, if, I had, if I had a goddamn, uh, like, uh, if I had a water bottle, for every single time I've seen a fucking crew member or somebody on set make a person uncomfortable, specifically women, I would have a bunch of water bottles. Really bad analogy, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Anyways, number five. Da Vinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, and, uh... The the fuck is the other one? Epic. No, the other one. Okay, I Final Cut. Sorry. You can work those. All three of those. You can basically do any job as an editor. So. Number four. Always have a calendar. One of the biggest problems a lot of filmmakers have is that they, 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 they talk about um, like days and shootings and everything, but they don't have a fucking calendar. Why don't you have a calendar? Why don't you have a calendar? Get a calendar. Get a physical calendar. Like, I, I know you guys have your phones, but get a fucking calendar. Alright, number three. Um, I'm just saying things that piss me off about filmmakers in San Antonio, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, number three. A lot of you San Antonio filmmaking motherfuckers don't seem to fucking understand how to work audio. So, please, for the love of God, make sure that your audio is good. If it's a windy day, get a fucking dead cat. If you can't afford it, get a job so you can afford the dead cat. It's only fucking 75 bucks on the uh, at camera exchange off, off San Pedro. <laughs> Number two, make sure you have a printer. Print it, uh, physical papers, scripts, and little things is always a good way to like make keep yourself organized. I'm very analog about a lot of stuff, actually. All right, honorable mentions. If you have a gunfight scene, make sure you talk, to, tell the cops first, because they will be called and they will make arrests for having guns with painted orange tips, which I am also very guilty of. I have not been arrested, keep in mind, because of it, but um, you will get molested by the cops for that in terms of paperwork and shit. It's annoying. What's like the number one thing that bothers me as a filmmaker in San Antonio? 
Oh, share your fucking friend's work. I, I, I've seen too many fucking filmmakers have this big dick contest about each other. It's like, it, it doesn't have to be. Like, you all could work together. I mean, there's always a lack of immaturity between some people. But, like, nevertheless, like, I think one of the biggest problems in San Antonio, uh, with San Antonio filmmakers is that none of us work together. Like, we're all in our own little worlds, we all want to have our own little ambitions, we all, we all want to have our own little things, you know? We can actually get those things that we want if we work together. For example, uh, Mark here. The guy that's filming this, he is making his own TV pilot. I'm making my own TV pilot. Uh, we're helping each other out. That was sausage from breakfast. We're helping each other out. That's what you guys are supposed to be doing, you know? You're supposed to help each other out. And if you want to help me out, you know, just fucking call me, dude. I'll fucking, you know? I'll help you out, man. Please cut that out. Don't, don't add that part in there. <laughs> Anyways, so that's that's my top ten list. I'm sure none of it means anything to you if you're not in San Antonio, you know? But if you are, heed my fucking word. You understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? I'll fucking kill you. I'll fucking kill you. I'll murder you. I don't care. I don't care. Okay? Who's gonna stop me? Are you gonna stop me? Are you gonna fucking stop me? No one's gonna stop me. Jesus Christ. Well, that's it. Yeah, we're done. Cool. All right. Oh. This is loud. All right. Come on. <laughs>